is virtual reality in Vernon. And here I am feeling a pulse as I'm doing this. With real life implications. East Hartford based VR Sim is joining forces with first responders here. VR Sim is a small developer of virtual reality training simulations, primarily in sort of the skilled trades area. Vernon becomes the first community in the country to bring this technology to their paramedics and Put EMTs. Your in your hand, and all you got to do is confirm the patient. Wow, this is wild. Okay. VR Sim provides hands on training just in the AI world. Mike Picaro is Vernon's emergency management director. Uh, and so what we're hoping is our first responders will be able to sharpen their skills in a safe, controlled virtual environment so that when they're needed in the real world, they'll be better prepared to respond. Stop the bleeds, cardiac arrests, drug overdoses. They're all scenarios that are part of the advanced VR sim software. For the folks in our community, it's really exciting to be able to use this technology to potentially save lives. And it's not just being used by EMTs and paramedics here in Vernon. The technology is also headed to the high school. So our school system uh, will also be utilizing the same technology in their fire technology program and allied health programs, which actually are feeder programs for us to get great volunteers and staff in our uh, fire department and in our ambulance service here. And with the help of a high-tech headset, perhaps there's some added vision. We think this will make a meaningful difference for people in terms in distress. It will help people with heart attacks. It will make a difference and save their lives. In Vernon, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.